Hi there folks, this is Don at Affordable Desert Living and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to see if I can use one of these little ceramic electric heaters to heat this little building. And most importantly, if my solar panel setup can handle the power draw from using one of these little portable heaters. Stay tuned and let's check it out. So when you turn the heater on first, it's just a fan or a blower. Not sure why you'd use that, maybe just to circulate some air around. Next, it goes to setting number one, and that setting is the setting I was most interested in. It's only about 750 watts that's being used at that point. Then you go to setting number two, and at that setting, you're looking at about 1500 watts. So the second button is just used to turn up the intensity of the heat, just like any kind of stove or anything else. So if you're looking back at me, folks, there's a uh, great horned owl nest up in that cottonwood tree. I'll zoom in a bit, but it's a long ways off and I don't want to disturb them. Pretty warm today. It's um, around 80 degrees. So that adult great horned owl does not want to expose young to this intense sun. So it's just brooding them at the moment. So it's the end of an absolutely beautiful day here and I had a chance to do a bit of a hike and do some birding and now it's getting a little cool so I'm going to go inside the cabin and I'm going to turn on that little heater to enjoy some warmth for the rest of the evening and uh, let's just see how it works. So now it's about 8.30 in the evening and of course uh, there hasn't been any power from our solar panels for a few hours. so. The Titan is now down at 87% charge, and uh, it's a little cool, so I'm going to put on the heater, and it's going to be uh, at the setting of 750 watts. And there we go. You can feel the heat already. So let's go back and see how much power it's drawing off the Titan. So as you can see folks, the, uh, the little heater and everything else plugged in is drawing about 960 watts. So that means with those two 2000 watt lithium ion batteries, this should be no problem to run the little heater for the rest of the evening without draining the system down. So I'm definitely encouraged by that. And naturally, just as you would expect when the room has been heated up here, it doesn't take much, this place is so well insulated, that um, the heater's shut off. So the sun's up and it's pretty nice uh, overall, but still a little cold for someone who's cold-blooded like me. So I'm going to put on the heater. So we're going to see what's going on with the Titan this morning. And as you can tell, uh, all of that use last night of the heat from the heater dropped things down to 37%. But when you see this screen flashing, that means just after uh, 8 in the morning, those 340 watt solar panels, and there's 8 of them, are going to work. And even though that heater is drawing over 750 watts of power, the Titan is offsetting that. Now 
And what that means is, even with that heater running, if it was like, say, a really cold day, by around noon hour today or even less, this system would be fully charged all over again. So you can probably hear it in the background, folks, but that little heater is still running this morning to take the chill off, and it's drawing about 750 watts of power. Also, there's a refrigerator plugged in, the computer's plugged in, the monitor is plugged in, and the router as well. So what that means is those 340 watt panels, all eight of them, are still really pulling in a good amount of power. And it's only about 8.30 here this morning. And that will dramatically increase as the morning uh, sun swings around. So even though, folks, I normally heat this building, as I mentioned in the last video, with the Big Buddy heater, uh, it's still very useful. It'll heat this building up in no time flat. The little heater on the 750 watt setting mm, takes a lot longer. And I had another reason for using this little heater. I want to eventually incorporate a mini split and the low wattage on those is around 900 to over a little over a thousand watts for the really uh, power uh, wise type models and so what I've learned is this if one of those was running all night my system would be drained way down maybe even to as low as 1% so that tells me a couple things it tells me that as long as the Sun is up and shining a mini split both for heating and cooling is very viable but for the overnight drain that could happen when a mini split is operating I'm going to need additional battery power for the Titan and or additional panels so I hope this was helpful folks in deciding whether you can use electric heat to heat your small building if it's really well insulated it can be done if you have enough solar panels, of course. So as always, folks, if you have questions about this video and uh, questions about solar and heating and all of those things, and I can help by my experience in answering them, then uh, leave your questions in the comments below or send me an email and I'll get back to you. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Lots of videos coming. I love making them, and there's lots more coming. So uh, also hit the little notification bell. That'll let you know when my next video is published. And I really appreciate you being here. Thanks a lot. See you on the next video.